this is definitely a different kind of project for you. Sure. What were the elements that drew you in to this movie? Uh, the director, uh, Brad Bird, and, and Damon the writer uh, drew me in. I love the idea of the project. I love the idea that it felt like really like a Disney film, not like Disney films that you see now, which are great, but like a real, like wonderful world of Walt Disney, where uh, uh, the future is not inevitable, uh, you know, that there is something you can do to change it if you get involved. All the sort of things that were sort of in the Eisenhower years of, you know, the positivity of it all. And I liked all of that. And I think, you know, we've all seen and we could turn on television and see tons of cynical, dark stuff. It was nice to have somebody say, well, let's do something that's more upbeat. Um, <laughs> the dynamic between you and Brit and Raffi is great. Yeah. But it's different. It's not what you would expect. How would you describe the dynamic on Well, screen? it's a family. Okay, so it is a family. There, there's three people, but it is a family. The problem is that the parent is the youngest person driving, by the way, too. Uh, and so that's the fun part to me is that it's two bickering kids and then the parent going, will you two stop bickering? And she's 12, you know. And that's really the difference. But also there's a, you know, it's good old-fashioned storytelling. It's you, You've got the little girl who's a dreamer and a believer who loses it along the way. And then there's a guy, the kid who has long since lost it and become an old, bitter guy who has to get it back. It's all this kind of, you know, we know all those stories. We've seen them a hundred times before. It's just the difference is Brad Bird and how do you tell that in a very different, unique way. You've never really worked with Hugh Laurie before. No. What was that experience like? Doctor to doctor, you mean? <laughs> um, uh, well, first of all, I love him and he's a great guy and fun and a beautiful musician and a wonderful actor, but he's just a fun hang. You know, he's just a fun guy to hang out with. And we had a, I mean, he and I had a, because it was like, we were shooting outside in nighttime in Vancouver in February. And it's just, and we're wearing, this, it's just, it couldn't be cold. It was the worst February they'd ever had. It was freezing, it snowed out. They were shooting outside, it's supposed to be inside and everything. And we were just sitting there, and it could have just been miserable, and he was just hysterically funny. I love it. How would you describe Brad's directing style? Uh, uh, insane. I mean, he's insane. He's unbelievably brilliant, and he knows exactly what he wants to do. And he will, you know, he talks to you like he probably talked to his animated characters. He acts the parts out in his head. So he'll be like, and you know, you'll do a take, and you'll see him over there, and you see him playing you in his head. He'll be like, and then you'll go, so you want me to do it like that? You know, he, you know like, a, and I go, yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. So it's so funny. He he plays all the characters out in his head. I love so it. So it was really fun. What would you say audiences should expect when they sit down in the theater for this movie? Well, look, m my feeling in general is on on a film like this, I, you hope that they're going to get two hours of, uh, uh, of relief from all, you know, two hours of fun, two hours of something besides doom and gloom, and a two-hour fun ride. And if they do that, then we win. Then we did what we were supposed to do. We did our job. Um, because that's what it's supposed to do, you know, th for this summer and a summer filled with the films that do that. Yeah. You know, that's what you hope it does. Last one. The movie definitely talks about different ways that people can view the future. Mm -hmm. What kind of future do you envision? Does it change from day to day? Sure. Always changes. The future always changes for me. What I think of it, what I think it will be. Um, if you pay attention uh, too long to a certain sound, the uh, sound of the news, the sound of things you read, it, you, it will start to become ingrained in you that that's what the world is. And you have to step back.